Meet Rashad. Rashad is a typical 16-year-old boy. He loves to listen to music and spends all of his free time perfecting his shot on the basketball court. He's also a great disc thrower. Rashad has a goal to play wheelchair basketball in college, and with a six-foot wingspan, he's a top prospect. Today is fitness testing at Rashad's school. Like some teenage boys that I know, he may try to use his disability to get out of doing a certain activity. Will Rashad's teacher let him play the wheelchair card? Hey Rashad, how you doing this morning? Good, how are you coach? Hey, pretty good man. You get a night's sleep? I did. Alright, you have a good breakfast? I did. Alright man, we're doing exercise testing today, so come on in. Uh, Alright, so first things first, we're going to do some push-ups. I don't think I can really do the push-ups because of the wheelchair. Uh, that's okay man, I looked it up, we're going to have some adaptations, it's going to be a piece of cake. Alright, so first things first, hop on up there first. Great job teacher! We do identify his ability level and adapt accordingly. You should be ready for your students too. Here are some tips to remember when working with a student who has a physical disability. There are a wide range of degrees and causes of physical disabilities. It is important to consider the ability level of each individual. One child who has spina bifida may not have the same characteristics as another child who has spina bifida. Handle each student and situation individually. Many people who have a physical disability use a mobility device to get around. This could be a wheelchair, walker, or cane. It is important to remember that a mobility device, especially when it is in use, should be considered an extension of the user's body. Never push someone who uses a chair or move a student's cane without first asking permission. It is also important that all students understand these rules. As shiny and fun as a wheelchair may seem, it is not a toy and should never be played with. Remember, a person's mobility device is his or her primary means of transportation and it should always be easily accessible. Regardless of your student with a disability's age, you may need to consider using the basic concepts of progression when introducing different sports. For example, if your student is unsuccessful connecting a bat with a ball, you may want to consider using a larger bat, putting the ball on a tee, or using a larger ball. Your student's disability may affect his or her physical activity. You should be aware of his postural balance, gripping ability, muscle contractures, and spasticity. Also remember, children should be challenged to work on and improve their weaknesses whenever possible. Some individuals with certain disabilities may be predisposed to have a latex allergy, which can be very serious. Some activity equipment may contain latex, and care needs to be taken to provide latex-free options. Examples of equipment that may contain latex are exercise bands, gripping tape for tennis rackets, and baseball bats, balloons, and more. For even more information on disability awareness, check out our website at nickpad.org. Or you can email us with any specific questions you have at email at nickpad.org. Thanks for watching.